With the fastest growing young population in New Zealand, we consider investment in child and youth health essential. Maternity care in the community is one example. Here at Botany Maternity Unit, we're completely run by midwives. We have no doctors, no theatre. A place like this is important because people really want to have a birth as close to the home environment as they can, a lot of people, but they're just a little bit scared of just not having things close at hand. So this is the next step on. We've found extraordinary um, gains to be made by the use of community health workers. Uh, this was a discovery of during the meningococcal campaign, where we lifted the rates of immunisation. Excellent, well done. And that was entirely about mobilising a community of like-minded people to get people with an access of health services. Community health workers provide free, under five, well child checks in the home, which look at physical, mental and emotional well-being. And they encourage parents to bring their children into the family doctors for preschool immunisation. This is Finlayson Park School Dental Clinic, which has four chairs, which is um, it's quite a modern clinic and it more represents the sorts of clinic we, clinics we want to move to in the future. It allows for um, therapists and assistants and students to work together. We want to improve the visibility of the school dental services. These are free services to our families. We want to engage families really early, so kids um, are brought into the, the clinics as soon as they've got teeth, really, to enable our families to be educated and to help prevent um, dental problems happening. Taking care of our children's hearing is important, and ear clinics are now more accessible, reaching greater numbers of children in the county's Monaco area. That's good, the wax has all come out of that one. Ear infection is a major cause of hearing loss and consequent poor performance in schools. <laughs> love to play and that physical activity is good for them. Hello! So we work alongside schools to promote group activities. And many of our schools are now reaping the benefits of the Fruit in Schools initiative. It's a program where every child in the school gets a piece of fruit every day um, for the next three years. <laughs> We're trying to promote the um, healthy eating message with the children and getting it out into the families. It gives me a lot of energy and it's better than having a pack of chips for um, morning tea. Fruit at school, at school! While good playground and eating habits improve kids' health, we make sure they all get one on one support. Public health nurse Falana Sisi Fornua deals with a range of issues when she visits primary schools. And the typical things that I'd be looking at um, for school health would be impetigo skin conditions that vary from uh, eczema right through to just dry patches of skin, blow, right through to ear health, bed wetting. At high school level, the AIM High programme supports students with their individual health needs. 80% of Year 9 students in the high priority secondary schools have wellness checks. A lot of the young people that are in schools and in counties are fighting significant health issues and if we can work alongside of the schools and the young people and the students to address those health issues, we can actually get improvement in educational outcomes, which in its turn impacts on health outcomes. The service here at Mangu College is um, awesome because um, whether if I'm really sick or if I have problems with also sexual health. Um, she helps me a lot, she takes me to the doctors um, with my partner. And... We've got access to GPs that come into the college, we have physios that come into the college.